and then I have dark areas and these would typically be called shadows and I think of a shadow as nothing more than a warm space of air, a warm area of air. So shadows do a couple of things. First of all, they anchor an object on the picture plane. You know, where are they in relation to other objects? And also, they tell us that this is near and this is farther away. This is near and this is further away, I should say. So they give us that sense of where is the object going to live in the final picture for the viewer. You can't have a three-dimensional object without having shadows. It's just impossible. So if you have a shadow under here, but also have shadow here, this is going to make the picture or the object look more three-dimensional, solid if you will. So it creates a sense of thereness and nothingness. Thereness and nothingness. And lastly, I think that shadows are important in uh, representational art because it shows the viewer or allows the viewer a place to see activity and, and excitement, if you will, in the lighted part of a picture. But it also provides a sense of calm, relief, quiet, if you will. So, so nothing is basically going on in the shadows. All the activity is in this kind of energized uh, part of the picture or in the light. You could say that the light is the energy and the shadows are where the repose and the quiet is. And if you're interested in real, uh, realistic painting, it's a good idea to have, have that contrast in there and your charge is to uh, make them uh, holistically enough so that there's a balance, if you will. So just to recap, shadows serve as sort of a punctuation in the picture um, and sort of how, how the pace of the picture works, you know, excitement and relief. They serve as a place to uh, situate objects on the picture plane, near and far. And they also create a sense of three-dimensional form. You can't have this onion look like um, you know, an onion in, in a two-dimensional space without the, the service of shadows. This is true of oil paints, of acrylics, of watercolor.